Hey everybody, this is CL down here in Houston. I got a new tank, the 125 gallon. The IBC water tote, the 275, was I think just overkill for me specifically. Uh, primarily focusing on uh, residential right now at this point. <clears throat> Excuse me, um, it's a little windy right now. So what we got here is a two inch bulkhead fitting going to a one and a half PVC valve and then a one and a half uh, banjo T strainer with a one inch with a one and a half to one inch reducer right there with the hose barb of course the one inch crust proof hose going all the way to a one inch barb it's kind of windy I hope it doesn't bother what you're hearing um, so I had to do a voiceover anyway uh, right there is a reducer to going uh, three quarters into the outlet there, which is obviously a half inch. Uh, machine is four gallons a minute. That's a Cat 66 DX, uh, 3,000 PSI, four gallon a minute. <clears throat> and then, all right, the pump is a Cat 66 DX, 3,000 PSI, four gallons a minute. And then what you're looking at now is the bypass, which runs to a hose barb and to the top of the tank right there, continuously flowing to the top of the tank. <clears throat> now, um, this is the three-quarter bulkhead I put in for the Hudson float valve, um, which runs to the fill reel which is a couple hundred feet of three quarter well three quarter on the bottom and then five eighths holes running right there all right everybody and then right now there's the uh three quarter inch um bulkhead fitting i put in um for the hudson float valve for the fill reel which is um there's three quarter holes at the bottom, a hundred foot, and then there's a hundred feet of five eighths holes. All right, there's a little plug I cut out for the uh, drain tubing to go out if I need to. Um, this is a one inch bulkhead I had to reduce down to three quarter. Um, that was actually already on the tank. Um, three quarter inch valve and so on and so on um, with the barbs and garden hose fittings um the tank of course is on a pallet to give me some leverage because i wanted to be going down to the pump so that gave me a little height on the pump and then of course it let me have my uh, strainer up because if you see right there at the bottom of the strainer everything is pointing down so when i unscrew that it'll just come down in that gulk won't be all up in the top and go straight into the pump. Yep, so this is my homemade hose reel attached stand. I got this used, the hose reel actually had a junk, uh, somebody was throwing it out. So yeah, it was used. Anyway, um, two by fours. It's attached to the side of the trailer with some uh, bolts, as you see it right there. And I put some screws in it to go all the way through, some six inch or four inch screws for a little more stability. Um, this bad boy holds up pretty good. Yeah. And then this is the hose that's actually connected. It's a hundred foot, non markable with an extra one. This used to be the fill reel, uh, fill reel. And I just put an extra 50 foot on that. It actually came with the machine. So, um, that's it. That is, I mean, of course, you know, I painted it to match the truck, of course. Everything is all dirty now, but, you know, we'll work it out. So, if you see me coming down the road in Houston, just blow the horn. I'm waiting on my uh, wrap or something. I don't know, letters or something. We'll figure it out.